Hi everybody, welcome to Live Blogger. In this tutorial series, we have been creating this stories design using HTML, CSS and JavaScript. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add this design to your Blogger website. So let's get started. First of all, let me show you how it works. We can see that we have these stories displayed over here. And if I click on one of these stories, we have the story displayed in full screen mode. And after some time, we can see that it moves on to the next story. And we can also click on the next in the previous buttons to go to the next in the previous stories. And then we can click on this close button to close the full screen mode. All right, now let's go to the dashboard of our blogger website and we can add this design into a post or a page. Or you can even add it to all the pages in your website by just going to theme and then clicking on this arrow and clicking on edit HTML and just add the code over there. Now in this video, I'll show you how to add it inside a post. So let's go to posts and let's create a new post. You can also add it inside any of the existing posts. All right, let's go over here to new post and I'll just add a title of stories. And the first thing you have to keep in mind is that you have to go to the HTML view. So by default, it'll be in the compose view. So click on this button and click on HTML view. Now here you can add the HTML, the CSS and the JavaScript. So first of all, let's add the CSS. I'll just create a style tag over here. And uh, now let's go to the source code of our design. And I will leave the link of the source code in the description. So let's go to style.css file. And let's copy all these styles from here. And let's paste it over here inside the style tag. Right now let's go outside the style tag and uh, let's add the HTML. So let's go back to our source code. Let's go to the index.html file. And uh, let's copy everything from here till the end. And we don't need to have these uh, commented code over here. So I'll just delete all of this. All right now let's copy everything from here all the way till the end over here. And let's paste it inside our post. And the last thing we need to do is add the JavaScript. So let's create a script tag over here. And uh, here we will add the JavaScript. Let's go back to our source code and let's go to the main.js file. And this is all the JavaScript of our uh, stories design. And if you scroll up, we can see that we have this all stories array over here. And in that we have all these stories. We have the thumbnail URL, we have the image URL, which is the full image URL and also the title. Now you can go ahead and change these uh, information. You can also add new objects by just copying this and pasting it down here and just changing these details. Right now we have these many objects over here inside this array and all these image URLs are here inside this folder right here called images and in that we have all these images. Now in our blogger website, we don't have this folder called images. So we have to change the image URLs. We have to upload the image somewhere and uh, get the URL and paste it over here. But for now, let's copy and paste all this code. And uh, if you scroll down, we also have some other settings over here. You can go ahead and change the timing of uh, the autoplay of the full screen stories. So right now it is set to five seconds. So after five seconds, the story will change to the next story when in the full screen mode. All right now let's copy all of this and let's go back and paste it over here inside the script tag. Now the last thing we need to do is change all these image URLs. Now for the images we will use a service called Cloudinary. So you can just go over here to cloudinary.com and just create a free account and then just log in and go to media library. And here you can go ahead and upload your images. So let's click on upload and then click on upload local files. Now let's click on browse and these are all the images in our project. So let's select all of this and let's click on open. And here we can see all the images are uploaded inside Cloudinary. Now let's go ahead and change the URLs of all the images. So here we can see the first one over here is uh, the full screen image of the eighth story and this is the thumbnail. So let's go ahead and copy all the links. Now you can just click on this button called copy URL or you can also click on options and click on copy URL from here. So let's copy this and uh, let's paste it inside the eighth full image. So I'll just delete this and paste the URL over here. And in the same way, let's go ahead and get the thumbnail URL. So let's click on copy URL 
and uh, let's paste it over here now in the same way we have to go ahead and change the URL of all these images so I'll just do that real quick all right so I have updated all the image and thumbnail URLs now let's click on publish and confirm and here we can see that our post has been published let's click on view and our stories are displayed over here but we have some problems in the styling so let's fix that let's right click over here and click on inspect and here we can see this is a flex box so if I just click on stories container we can see it is set to display flex and I think that's why it is trying to fit into this uh, fixed width so what we have to do is uh, we have to add a line of code to the content and we have to type flex shrink and set it to zero now we can see it works all right so let's add this line of code to the content in the CSS let's go back to our post and let's go to the content so here we can see we have the selector for the content here I'll just type flex shrink and let's set it to zero now let's update this and let's go back to our post and let's refresh this page and now we can see that the stories are displayed over here and uh, let's click on one of these stories and we can see that it is displayed in full screen mode and after five seconds it changes to the next story and if I click on the next button we can see the next story and if I click on the previous button we can see the previous story and we can close the full screen mode by clicking on this close button so everything is working all right so that's basically how you add this stories design into your blogger website so that's basically it for this video i will leave the link of the source code in the description and if you have any doubts you can ask in the comments below and if you like this video please click on the like button and subscribe to this channel to get the latest video updates thanks a lot for watching have a nice day